Hello and welcome back everybody. This is day five of my Luzon 1945 Marines uh, campaign. I'm on the long campaign. We have four more days after this one. The last uh, day was rather um, successful. We, I mean, we only got four victory points, but we really didn't pick up much stress. And uh, we did gain some SO points. So now we have 16 of them, which I took full advantage of today. Um, what we have here, I already chose missions and stuff, and we still have these two cards looking at us. Uh, keep this card to discard to re-roll any die roll, very good one. And keep this card next time a pilot suffers a damaged result, they suffer plus two stress, then discard it. So we're, that's going to hurt a little bit. But today we, tr we, we drew two cards, or actually three cards. The first card was Small Dog Fight, and the second one was Scramble. So uh, we had to stop right there. And I'm going to take them both on, despite my stress starting to creep up a little bit. Um, in my ready room, um, we see... Aldrich is going to be out this one because he, he's riding right on the edge of being okay and shaking. And so is Gingrich. Uh, Gallant, he could have been okay, but I left him out. And Garcia, we're going to let him rest a little bit. He had a bad run his last time out. Um, and everybody else, um, Jan, Tan, Jacob Tan, Jai, and has one, Matt Ryder has one out of three, he's the one I gotta watch for, but he does have Gung Ho and Agile, so I hope that I'll keep that down. I want his plus three ATA, because I'm still looking at a possible a possibility of having up the six bandits facing me in this already cluttered uh, tactical display over here. And Puffy Caldwell has two out of five, and I also wanted his plus one and his Gung Ho, but more than anything, I wanted his newly acquired SA, uh, his situational awareness. So, uh, looking at this map, and some may disagree with me, but um, this is where it's coming in. I'm coming in over here, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I have taken the liberty of arming Caldwell up with two of these rockets <coughs> and I'm probably going to use it I probably only needed to do one but what the heck I'll, I'll roll the first one and if the, if the first one doesn't hit I'll roll the second one we will use his situational awareness right off the bat to take this guy out that just leaves us with this rifleman and this rifleman and that LMG if I came in over here, I got to deal with this rifleman and him still, um, and still the LMG. So either one of these approaches would be the same. Come in over here, you got to deal with the LMG also, and you come in and over here, you're still dealing with this when you hit the target. So I, I think I'm going to take that head on, use them two rockets, get that out of there. If um, things get really bad. And I got a lot of dog fighting. I'll bring, I'll have Charlie Field drop his 500s and, and join into dog fighting. I loaded up on bombs because I want them six. Uh, I'm. All right, sorry about that little interruption. Um, so, I forget where I was at. We'll just try to get this going. Um, we are, right now we're looking at having Matt Ryder and Puffy be our main ATA guys with Charlie Field um, jo uh, joining in if he has to. And if it really gets desperate, then I'll have Jacob uh, Tan Jai in, drop his 500s also and join in. I um, don't think these guys can get all the uh, targets on their own. 
I stand a better chance because I did spend the points to get some napalm here. Um, Puffy's going to drop these right away on that uh, 75 millimeter and get rid of him. And hopefully that'll do it. But I have all this extra hardware along. Hopefully I'll get some good bandage rolls here and not have to worry about too many air-to-air uh, -air guys. So this is where I'm going to come in anyway. Get rid of him. It's a pretty clear shot in, relatively speaking. We'll pick up maybe some stress off of them. Um, he's a little dangerous. If I have uh, good luck and we don't have many uh, bandits, maybe I'll try and save a rocket. If we get lucky on our first roll, and I'll maybe take him out with a rocket. So, um, the worst kind of worst is all we can do is damage, but the way my rolls go, he'd damage one of my important bombers, and I wouldn't get anything out of it. So, anyway, enough talking. Let's get this going on. Uh, let me rotate these around just a little bit, keep my fighters together. Bombers are over here. All right, let's get it on. Uh, draw target bound event card. Again, I'm still learning the game. I've played the other leader versions, but I, don't, I haven't played them for a little while, so uh, the roles are similar. Um, this one here, you can't go uh, changing um, from high altitude to low altitude unless you're a dive bomber, and there are some different rules, but basically they're the same. Um, and I grew, drove, drew a target, not a uh, event. And um, so, bear with me if I make some mistakes. It's going to happen. Um, I'm just, I just have fun playing. Uh, here we go. Regain all the SO points you spent on special weapons in this mission. Well, we just got another big bonus because I spent, for the first time in this campaign, six points on weapons. And now I will get them back. Very nice. To the verse and crew, I appreciate that card. All right, uh, place aircraft. I already placed my aircraft. Uh, determine and place bandits. Here comes the fun one. One in each approach. No bandit. Good start. That's an important one. Oh, come on, Greg. I keep drawing sights. Uh, we do have one there. He's a minus one. No bandit there. Starting to look pretty good. Got a, another bandit there. Not quite as scary. Both minus ones. And then two in the target area. We got another bandit there, again a minus one. And another bandit there, a minus two. So all in all, that could have been a lot worse. Uh, return to the 45 deck, return to the 45 deck. All right. <coughs> so here we go. Um, well, Intel, air defense adjustment. Get the campaign card over here. We have no change. And that's not going to change this uh, day either because of none of that. The other good thing is, is if you'll pay attention to my uh, target card here, Gung Ho. That means I do not have to skimp on my Gung Ho's. We will gain back all the Gung Ho's for everybody in my squadron after this target's destroyed. Down here, different story, because they're coming in after I've already done and wrapped this mission up. So, uh, let's draw over the target event card. Uh, minus two from all sight attack die rolls. Oh, I really like that one too. That's going to help us a lot. Now we're getting cards stacked up here again. Try to pay attention to all of them. Place turn counter in one box. Dive bombers dive to low. Fast attack. Well, fast pilots attack. I always do that. Uh, this is where I'm going to use up Puffy's SA. 
Oops, not increase, decrease. And I'm going to throw his two rockets. Or I could just throw one rocket and use his gung ho up. I don't know, I think I want to save that gung ho. We really need a seven to get him. We have two chances at seven. He's got a plus zero. Nah, use it or lose it. I'm gonna flip that gung ho. He fires the rockets at this 75 millimeter. We return that to the sight deck. We delete that. Fast pilots are done. I don't have any fast pilots. And he gets to go again in the slow phase but uh, there's going to be nobody for him to attack. Uh, sights and bandits attack. We no longer have the capability of doing that. Slow pilots attack. There's nobody that has anything. He can attack that rifleman, but I'm not going to waste that. Next turn we'll throw it out at the LMG and maybe we'll get a lucky roll. Um, aircraft move. We'll gladly move into here. And bandits move. All right, let's start. Let's start up top and work our way down. Um, he's going to move in. He's one of the better ones. Not that any of them are good. And we're going to put him up against Ryder. Let me get him out of the way. Don't let me forget him. Hmm. Field will drop his munitions. And I should have fired them because I'm going to drop his munitions too. And they're in there in the fray. Caldwell. Field. And he's going to come over and I'm going to leave him. I'm not going to engage him because I want these guys to uh, maintain there. I actually could engage with uh, Jacob Tam, but he's going to then get a minus two eight away because of his waypoints. That's not horrible though really not horrible if he as long as he doesn't get turned and anyway, that minus two will hurt his a to a so it's possible he could get turned but he is facing a minus two so that's going to zero out let's do that we'll engage him that takes care of hopefully takes care of uh, one on one and everybody and we can slip our two bombers in advanced turn counter go back up to dive bombers dive nope we have fast attack pilots. Do we have anybody else that has situational awareness? Not on hand yet. Okay. So they get first crack at us. Sights and bandits attack. So let's get the well, sights come after after the bandits. So uh, let's get. Uh, dogfight down here. Actually, I'm going to stick it over here this time. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we're going to start up the top here with uh, um, the, the KI-43. <coughs> He's got a minus one against riders. Plus three. Is a minus four on his die roll to, to accomplish it. No, never mind. He just uses his ATA on that one. Getting confused here. Nine, he gets a minus one as an eight. He's going to do a half loop. For the success of it, it'll be minus four because he's going to 
dual minus one and add riders minus three. And that's going to be a minus two position. So he just gave up his tail end. Very nice. And he cannot attack. Good start. Um, Caldwell will be getting attacked by this A6M2. He's also a minus one. He's going to roll. Rolls a 10. They're rolling high on this. In my sights. That's a pretty safe one. He's minus one. Caldwell is a, a plus one, so that's minus two on a success roll. And he gets a six, so he's going to get a plus one. Minus one is zero. Minus one for Caldwell is a minus one. So for his attack, two, nothing. Very nice. We're liking this. Field. One against field. Another A6M2. He's a minus one. 5-4. He's going to go for a tight turn. And um, a field is a zero, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So that'll be a minus one off of his success roll. Two, one. No effect. So he'll fire a minus one. And that is another two. Yes, it is. Lovely. We are doing superb here. Um, it comes down to the one that scares me, a KI-61 um, against Jacob Tan. He's going to roll a minus two for his maneuver. got to read up on this because he doesn't have bracketed so I think he just dog fights as normal <laughs> sorry about that and I this is where sometimes rules are foggy on me You know what, we're just going to go with uh, um, leaving him unengaged and let him attack a random. I'm not sure if they're allowed to do that. No, I already called engaged. We're stuck with this. I've got to figure that out. Here we are again, me slowing you guys up. If the bandits, bandits target is a bomber with AT on numbers that are not in brackets and the bandit is disadvantaged or tailed, the bomber may fire on the bandit. Oh, it, it only happens if it's disadvantaged or okay, okay. So yeah, he can still do this. We're just going to have to take that minus two ATA. Um, so minus two for his roll here. Four. So he's going to be a tight turn. Minus two plus two is zero. Seven. So he got a plus one position. Jacob Tan will not be able to do anything. He's able to fire on this guy with the plus one attack roll, minus one. And then adding two for Jacob Tan's. So we're at minus one, plus one, three, four, no damage. So we're going to survive this. <sighs> okay. Let me get that out of the way. Bandit. Uh, now we go to the site. And he needs to roll a six. He's going to go three, six. We're just going to roll one, two, six. And if I roll higher, we roll. All right. Fourth one down is Jacob Tan. He's getting all the action. And he rolls an 8, which will be a stress on Tan. He's got a lot of gung hoes. I can ignore that. But I'd rather take the stress than the uh, use up the gung hoes. Gung hoes don't bother me too much. All right. Then. Now, if Tan had bracketed numbers, he would have been able to fire back um, on the... Uh, the um, bandit, but uh, 
as he's a, a front-sighted guy. That's not happening. So he's got to do no reply on that. I could have re-rolled that. And sight attack roll. So we going to take that minus two off that sight attack. That's a minus. That would be a six. So it's still going to hit. Glad I saw that. Still got a stress on J uh, Jacob T T yeah, Jacob Tan. All right. Um, now we go to slide, uh, slow pilot's attack. That's everybody. Rider. Rider will. He's just going to do an in my sights. And he is a plus three, plus one, so he's going to add four. That's a six. Gets a plus one. Plus three is plus four, plus five. Needs eight. He just barely got an eight. So, Ryder gets a kill. Oh, there was a plus three on that anyway for, an, for him being tailed. So, Ryder got an easy kill. And that's his third kill in the campaign. Caldwell. Caldwell is also going to do an in my sights. Seven. Um, eight. Nine. So he gets a two plus, a plus two. So plus two, plus three, plus four, and they're head on. Eight. Barely got it. So Caldwell gets a kill. That's his second of the campaign. Doing good so far. The only one that's not is Jacob Tan. Um, field. He's a zero. He's going to do in my sights. And he's going to add one. Three. Barely got the old plus one attack. Good thing we went with that. Everything else would have been no effect or a failure. Um, plus one attack. Plus two. <laughs> Again, we barely got the kill. Field gets a kill. We're squeezing by, but squeezing by is just fine. That's Field's fourth kill of the campaign. Getting close to ace, ace them. All right, uh, Jacob Tan. He is still considered engaged because um, he's not a physical bomber. I think I'm playing that right. Um, he's going to try a, a tight turn. He's a minus two. Plus two is zero. Seven. Gains a position. Oh, you see where we're going with this. So, no extra attack, but at least he can attack. And he's at a minus two, plus two, so that's zero. Three, no go. So, well, lots of maneuvering, no go. That's all right. It could have been a lot worse, and we took three of them out of the sky. Um... Just reading things, just double checking things. I hate making mistakes. Tan can't move on. He's still engaged. If he were a bomber to return favor, I knew uh, um, fire. I know he'd be unengaged, but he's a fighter carrying bombs. This doesn't make him a bomber. Or is he considered an escort? I'm not really confusing myself on this one. Um, I'm going to consider him a bomber. He's he's not engaged right now, which probably means.
means he shouldn't have fired, but that didn't come up <clears throat> and, and change anything anyway. So I'll delve into that rule a little bit later and see what the definition is of a, but it, it almost has to be a bomber, in which case he wouldn't have been able to fire because the only way a bomber can fire is when they return fire uh, after the bandit makes his maneuver. And uh, the bandit made his maneuver and got him out of position, so he shouldn't have been able to fire. So for all intents and purposes, until I learn otherwise, I will treat him as a bomber. All right. Um, we're removing the aircraft. I'm going to leave one behind. That being, actually, let's leave two behind, because Caldwell no longer has munitions on him, and he can dogfight. So let's move everybody else forward. Field actually dropped his too, but I'm gonna move him forward just to kind of lighten the uh, the load here. All right, uh, bandits move. There are well, he can't move because there are planes in the location. So uh, we're gonna assign him to rider. Engaged. Advanced turn. Dive bombers no. Fast attack no. Sights and bandits. So here we go. This ought to be a joke. Uh, minus two up against a plus three. Uh, he comes in minus two plus three or minus three is a minus five. Actually he's just doing the minus two first. Nine, seven, yo yo. Minus five, two, drops a position, can't attack. Sights, uh, we still have uh, riflemen down here. Odds for Ryder, evens for Caldwell, evens it's Caldwell. Minus two is six, Caldwell gets a stress. I'm saving that gung ho on him. That's going to be used on that napalm for three three easy hits, I think. And we'll do the same for Ludwig, so I'm not going to really concern too much unless one of those gets hit. That's what I'm worried about. So we're going to increase his stress. I'll take a little stress. All right, nobody up there can do anything. We'll go to the LMG next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, Jacob Tan. He's got a five or ten. He's going to roll minus two. Eight, six, five is stress. So Jacob Tan will use a gung ho. Actually, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with this. I'll use a gung ho. We're going to get them back anyway. Um, Rifleman. He's going for same sequence, uh, nine re-roll, one, two, three, Jacob Tan again, five, four, three, no hit. Slow pilots attack, rider plus three, he's going to come in on the dog fight. And we're going to use in my sights. He's going to add uh, plus three, plus two is plus five, nine, plus two attack, that's uh, uh, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus one for being a, um, advantaged, nine, Ryder gets the kill. That's his fourth. Got two guys on the verge of being aces here. All right, um, slow pilots attacking. Caldwell's got nobody to attack anymore. Um, field can take a pot shot at something. We don't get any extra points for destroying him. You know what? We're not even going to play this game. Um, Ludwig is dropping napalm, flipping his gung ho. We got a 10. Boom. He's dead. Uh, that's the three. 
Um, Grimmond is going to do the same thing, flip his gung ho. He's got a roll to 10. That's three hits. Six. We have now. Oops, I shouldn't have put them on there. Mm hmm. Got that one all messed up. Let's get these out of there. That's what's messing me all up. Let's get his damage up. Oh, come on, Greg. Undo. Getting late. I probably shouldn't have tried to do a turn tonight, but I really like playing this game and I like to do it after work. It relaxes me, but when the brain's tired, things don't work well. That ends the mission. All right. So, when ending the mission, we'll draw a Homeward Bound event card. Subtract up to a total of five stress from pilots flying, flying this mission. That's a lovely one. I like that. A total of five stress. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six stress. Who can handle the most stress? That would be Ludwig and Puffy. So we're going to decrease his stress one. We're going to decrease his. We're going to decrease his. And decrease his. And I forgot to put target counter on there so they're all going to gain two stress in this mission but uh, for right now that helps immensely we can get rid of this card and we can zero this one out and get rid of this card and we can roll for search and rescue but we would have none record mission outcome victory points we have 16 points um, remaining target status is X for destroyed we gain 5 victory points which puts us at a total of 21 uh, recon and intel do not move separate, uh, special operations we already did I'm going to move this card down with my destroyed deck and Move all these guys back to the site deck. A little clean house here. I gotta put little buttons in there to make this a little easier, but right now. We'll deal with what we got. Don't want to be too lazy. All right. Get these guys back over my pilot ready room. Oh, not yet. Not yet. I want to keep them here just for the final steps. Add target stress to pilots. That's plus two for all of them. And I'm going to go ahead and take their cool off of them, too. So he increases. He increases two, subtracts one, so he increases to one. I mean two. Sorry about that. He increases one. He increases two. He increases one. He increases one. Not bad. I can deal with that. All right. Now let's get them off of here. And then we'll do a real quick dog fight, and that'll be the end of the day. The day. And, uh, and that should be a quick and easy little mission. Some famous last words, right? Should be just a quick and easy mission. I'm running two screens, but I'm only recording one. So if you're wondering what's going on here, I'm throwing all my guys back over to the, uh, the other.
the page. Pilot stress recovery, we already took care of that. I'll take care of the guys that didn't uh, fly at the end of the day. Record pilot experience and stress. All right. We're all right, bear with me real quick. Charlie Field, he gets two experience. And I didn't write him down. He is now an S5. Yeah, I did. S5. They're running out of spaces to put stuff. And he has one stress. Pat Lodwig is one stress. Gets two experience. Um, Matt Ryder, too stressed, too experienced. Puffy Caldwell, too stressed, too experienced. Jacob Tan, to stress, to experience. Grimmond, one stress, to experience. And he was an S4, and he gets promoted. So let's bring this over here so we can see how, how Bear looks. Promote him up. A veteran 8. And that gives him another gung ho. And also, right at this point in time, I better go through and do all the gung ho returns. Because we just destroyed the gung ho target. All right, that's all of them, and I think that is it. That's a nice, nice go on here. I wish a uh, a, uh, a a situation awareness had come up, but I will take that at plus two on his ATA and a plus two ground. That's always good. So, uh, back off to the side on that. Now, bring up the next mission. Two bandits as the target. And we're going to bring these guys up. And it doesn't really matter where we come in with them, so I'll just throw them right here. That gives me the. Uh, Anticipating a uh, tailing there, I was, and did it again. You can tell I'm having a rough, rough night, hitting wrong buttons, scaring everybody, scaring myself. So we got a plus one and a plus zero coming at us. We have our uh, plus one ATA and our other plus one ATA uh, coming up against those two. Uh, this is a dog fight. That's the mission. It's a secondary mission. Um, and they suffer one less stress. This is also uh, target 25, which is in the one stress area, so we, we possibility we could both come out of this with zero stress. So, already did the pre-flight. Time to draw target bound event. Keep this card. When a pilot suffers a MIA result, instead return the pilot to your squadron with two plus two stress. All right, another one to keep and watch out for. And all these come back up. Thought I grabbed them all. Hmm. Not gonna let me select though, is it? There we go. Just reshuffle. Reshuffle sends them. Alright. 
So, place aircraft already did that. Always get a hold ahead of the game on that. Determine, determine and place bandits. Well, we already did that because um, we knew the objective, and there are no random bandits. Uh, no air defense adjustment. Draw over target event card. Uh, minus one from all sight and bandit. Oh, are we getting lucky or what? We're getting the cards again, which worries me because the next game day, I've been down this road before, the next game day we pay for it. Please turn counter on one. Dive bombers, nope. Fast attack pilots, I do not think we have any. I'm pretty sure there are none in my squadron. Nope, but we do have a, a situational awareness that we will use. This is not a gung-ho target, so I'll try not to use my gung-ho, but we're not going to take too much chance. Sights and bandits, no. Slow attack, no. Aircraft, move. Boom, they go in. And bandits move. They join. Um... Both my guys are plus one if I'm not mistaken, so it really doesn't matter who gets who. We'll leave it right like that. You got a flight leader's good and cunst. Well, he'll get the responsibility of the higher one, so that makes sense. Alright, um, advanced turn counter. Turn two. Fast pilots, and we will go right ahead and use our situational awareness. And we'll bring out the dogfight. Uh, all right. He will do in my sights. And he gets a two. Plus one, minus one is zero. Boy, that really sucked. So Kutenkunst actually gets himself out of position. Hmm. Using that did not pay off because we just turned ourselves. All right. Um, so we go to... That was a bad one. Oh, you know what? Belay that. Belay that. Belay that, belay that. I am going to use this card. I think it is that important that I'm going to use this card to re-roll that die. Let's get rid of this card then. I've been sitting on that one for a while, and I think... That's probably a good idea to use that right now. So we're going to re-roll that then. Six. That's a little more like it. Get the plus one. You know what? We're not even going to play games. I just have an uneasy feeling. Gung-ho. Rolls a ten. Gutenkunst gets a, ki a kill. That's his third kill of the campaign. Um, so, that will make it bandits and sights. Um, only one bandit left. He's a zero against a plus one. He's going to roll there with no, no adjustment. Five. Going to try a yo yo. Now he subtracts one. That's a one. He gives up his position. And we are minus one from all sight and bandit attack rolls. So he can't attack anyway. Slow pilots attack. Um, roll in first because Guttenkunst is now not engaged, but he can fire. Um, Roland will come in and we're going to just try and in, in my sights. Nice and easy. Four. 
plus 1 is a 5. So he gets a plus 1 attack. That'll be a plus 2, plus 3 because he's advantaged. And he gets a 5, nothing. Guttenkunst will get the roll. Regular plus his ATA is 1, 7, 8. Very nice paint shop pro. Appreciate it. So Guttenkunst takes both of them out on his own and then saves Rowland from taking fire. That's Guttenkunst's fourth. That will end this mission because we have done our small dog fight. Let's put this back to zero. Get rid of that card. No damage. We'll put this down into our damaged or destroyed. Alright. Draw a Homeward Bound event card. At the start of the next mission, place one random opportunity to counter in the center area. Alright. Lots of cards to watch out for. No search and rescue, record mission outcome, etc. So when this one we had 16 to start, we'd spent zero. Got 16 still. We destroyed the target. We gained two XP. That's 23 on our campaign card. That gives us so far an adequate. Not bad. Um, add target stress to pilots. This is a a stress one mission. Increase stress. Up oh, and there was a no. Plus one plus two stress. Okay. No, I think it was a different yeah, different but boy I'm getting up here. Still trying to use that same uh, card twice. <laughs> Increase stress on him. Okay, and pilot stress recovery, all pilots. Now we will do that because it's the end of the day. All right, those who did not fly, that would be Gingrich. He uh, can get rid of two. Um... Matt Ryder, no he flew, uh, Gallant gets rid of the one, um, Garcia gets rid of two, oops, decrease Greg, not increase, alright, that's all pilots, because we've already taken out their cool. and record pilot stress and experience. So, Guttenkunst gets one and two experience and Roland gets two and two experience and he was an average four and he is now five experience so he will be promoted we're starting to get a lot of promotions here. He comes to skilled five. His ATA just went up to two, and his air to ground up to one. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I would like a fast pilot, but uh, I'll take whatever I can get at this point. And he's an S5. All right, that, my friends, ends this uh, campaign day. We're at actually the pivot day. Um, there will be four more days, and we're doing pretty good so far. I haven't lost a pilot. Stress is manageable, and um, we're already up to 23 points. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone enjoys this. May the dice be in your favor, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day or evening.